welcome back YouTubers to my channel of an everyday life of an ASB. If you're new, I'm ASB. I'm all about creating mental health and awareness and sharing my life stories as well as taking you all on a journey with autism as well as mental health along with fun and games and I'll also send this some tips and advice so to speak. So today this is going to be just a different uptake from what I'm usually doing for you guys and this one has been suggested by Lulu from Lulu B before for us to collab with her about you know what we enjoy or what we like about YouTube so this is my uptake about it and as we know this is the most common question that many of us creators on YouTube do tend to get asked about and I believe that in saying this that you know we need to be in mind that whenever that happens that we need to sit down and think about it you know the reasons to why we started and what our aims and goals but let's just roll into this one anyway what i like about youtube is basically is the freedom of speech is the first point i want to bring out as we know basically speech is a right not a privilege and that we should be able to support an individual or community to articulate our opinions and thoughts and ideas around with each other regardless of what it all and actually in a matter of that respecting each other's differences of the way how maybe we think act speak as well as one of this that i want to put under this umbrella of you know freedom of speech we should be able to have the fear of not being judged criticized or what have you when it comes down to this freedom of speech when it, we speak our stories speak our truth or whatever it may be at that point of time regardless and that i believe also you like we all have the right and choices in doing so like anything else the term that comes under this umbrella of freedom of speech is basically freedom of expression as you sometimes synonymously but includes any act of seeking receiving and imparting information or ideas regardless what medium is being used so to speak so in this case with me using my social medias or even just youtube or whatever it may be i have actually researched a bit about the freedom of speech in that which you can look into the research link down below about some of the famous people that talked about freedom of speech if need be number two is community or family we know that there are different people from different walks of life regardless where we're from from different race gender sexuality and that and some may have similar things in common be it same values same morals same religion and whatnot you know as well as identity but you know in saying this again i believe in this community of family comes into acceptance being accepting of one another as a whole you know regardless of it all yes acceptance can be difficult yet again like anything it's a choice and every choice we make it starts with us and ends with us you know and with the everyday choices does come with our consequences of what we you know decide to do in our lives or what we say can you know be a reflection on that we should be able to be ourselves no matter what we're doing on the you know screen even though sometimes i've been you know told how to speak act and stuff via in the screen and out of the screen but then it's like we shouldn't be put in a box of expectations and just following along everybody else's you know merry way of what they're doing if we feel in our heart it's right to do you know big ups to us to be braving out to try and be you know the little black sheep amongst the white sheep to try and stand out and actually do something that we believe in you know we shouldn't have to just be sitting there as quietly thinking to ourselves that no matter what the situation at hand that we should be able to just be ourselves as i'm saying you know because as i've noticed that many people still has the tendency to judge others before getting to know the person people think that you know the outer appearance of the person is more important than the inner being of that person which is a sad fact in reality even though like that comes under the jurisdiction of speaking our truth about you know regardless and we shouldn't be fearful of the judgments from others either is showing our imagination and creativity every one of us has like a creative side to us or some form of imagination in us you know regardless what it may be so we should be able to show that to the world if we take pride of it you know yes we might have some people that may not like it but that's fine you know i've learned this in my youtube journey which i'll link in the eye card above me as well as in the description below I believe also in saying this that with this part also this comes along with showing our creativity and our 
and all that is based on if we want to shout our memories to the world but what we do and maybe not just to the world but maybe for our future generations if we decide to have kids or grandkids or whatever so they can remember us by something as leaving a legacy behind I believe you know YouTube used to be a good entertainment thing but I've noticed that there's some downfalls now that people treat it as a game or competition or what have you number five I think I'm up to is collabing with others you know when with this we can build build our niches together if we've got the same niche when it comes to meeting and greeting you know via through a form of communication be it through discord be it through facebook or wherever we've met these people literally say hey would you like to collab with us you know with me especially this is an idea i want to pitch to you and i thought it would be you know great that we'll pitch together because it's all about you know if we are collabing one another with one another it's all about supporting one another as well as supporting our goals and dreams and visions because like i said in one of the videos we need to know our whys and the reasons to th why we started YouTube in the first place. I mean, people may have different reasons behind it, that's fine, you know, but we just need to hold that close to our hearts. In saying this, when it comes time to collabing with others, basically, I find that, you know, along the way, I have gained a bit of friendships from people, you know, not all, but some. And I'm actually fortunate that I'm in some of the um, servers on Discord right now that I can relate to, even if I just pop in now and again, as well as in some of these Facebook groups. You know, it's really hard at the moment because I'm stretching myself out so much at the moment through the servers and the groups I'm in, and I'm hoping that not many people will take it to offence that I'm not actually being active when I am actually being active, just reading through some of the notifications that keeps coming up, either through my Discord servers versus my... Facebook groups I'm in I am there it's just don't fret I'm there to support you and guide you regardless if you need someone as a listening soundboard or a form of advice regardless you know I'm there it's just a matter if you want to pop in and say hi Aspie you know this is what's up if you want to actually private message me through you know Facebook either through Aspie answers or even on my discord which I'll link in the description in this video if you want to you know speak to me or shall we say this community involvement is about involving the audience obviously or getting to know the audience of what they like and what they don't like obviously that comes into what I shared earlier about you know the hard thing about me as a creator as an autistic and mental health advocate cre slash creator because obviously you don't even know what they want or you know how they would like to respond and feedback to me is important so therefore the if I've done something wrong in a way of jurisdiction of maybe what I said or if I've done anything to offend people, let me know because it's all about learning from one another and accepting each other's differences again. As I said, acceptance is key to not just on the autistic community that needs it but every other person, be it on the mental health community, be it on the chronic illness community, whatever other communities we're in because I believe strongly that we need to, you know, be able to build a stronger network within our within just the one of us you know not go about bashing just the one person he's saying in my case bashing me about with words and stuff you know cussing at me and stuff or whatever it may be that I have you know had in the past when I first started my channel it, and I've started to learn now you know that as what I like being on YouTube I'm learning to grow by myself and learning from myself apart my past mistakes and everything and actually accepting what it is and what isn't and just go with the hopefully go with the flow as much as possible regardless even though I still and my little self just having to have schedules and stuff and I still have to this day some people that may not want to accept that you know me planning ahead or whatever in my life but I'm trying to take it one day at a time but it's sometimes hard you know and I'm just trying to live out my dream as much as possible you know reaching out to many of you as much as possible is a key ingredient here for me and one I do hear back from you is through the comments section of what I share you know either that you agree to disagree or disagree to agree or whatever it may be I am just actually humbled to see some of the comments and feedback that I get from you and I thank some of you from the bottom of my heart and this when it comes down to growing mentally and physically I believe that you know everyone should be able to not be fearful of change because that's the sort of last one that even though YouTube is evolving and changing a lot be it through the algorithm be it through how we are supposed to do our videos or whatever it may be that we should be able to just 
growing ourselves, be able to accept what it is and what it isn't and just to be mature about it because I've noticed that many people are scared of change. I'm not going to name names at the moment because obviously I've noticed that and it's, YouTube to me has been an eye opener for me anyways of what I've learned, especially in my life experiences of what I've been through as well while I've been, you know, as before I started YouTube, you know, as I said, before I started YouTube, I created a blog site that I'm still trying to post now and again when I can, which you can see in the link in the description where, where you can find this if you wish to read some of my, you know, excerpts. Some of it might be related to what I'm sharing in some of my past videos, which I humbly apologize, but I thought just to create some video topics through the same topics that I've written. So for anyone that may want it, you know, visually and stuff reading a whole lot of pages through it all because many people think I write like a novelist but that's just me showing my creative side about writing and whatever else I may have so I think I've covered as much as I can through my points about you know what I like about YouTube or being a YouTube content creator myself if I've missed anything I apologize in advance but if you like this smash the like comment below feel free to share your thoughts about what you like of YouTube to throw the questions out there for you guys and in saying this I would like some feedback here and there like I said because feedback is important to me even though they say that at the moment that you know likes and dislikes doesn't count as a form of feedback some people have argued some argue it is even if you know you don't get some comments here and there from the audience or whoever but in all for the day guys thanks for support thanks for watching do what love love what do and don't forget to follow me on my social medias and everything else that will be coming up on the screen till next time i'll see you again soon ciao for now